what would you do for a million dollars? Meme coins are hot, again. Some of the OGs like Doge are flying, and new coins like Chill Guy, Peanut, and Goat have caught the internet's eye. But where there are a few that take off, there are thousands that just pump and dump. Here are the top 5 cringiest moments from live streams on PumpFun. Pump.fun is a platform where anyone can launch a meme coin on Solana in just a few minutes, without any coding skills and with minimal resources. The platform gained notoriety among meme lords and degens, who found a quick way to monetize their ideas. In May of 2024, Pump.fun introduced real-time live streams, and things got weird. Common attention-seeking behavior has included people exposing themselves, eating disgusting things, or even threatening violence and self-harm. These are the five most cringeworthy moments. Mikol, also known as the Daredev, doused himself in flammable alcohol and had fireworks shot at him during a livestream to promote his token. He ended up catching fire and was rushed to a hospital with third degree burns covering 30% of his body. An anonymous man locked himself in a dog cage, wearing only underwear and a balaclava, claiming that he'd stay inside until his token hits $25 million and do other random things if his token pumps. A meme coin creator under the name Crackhead Dev went viral for smoking fentanyl, among other substances, on his live streams. He went as far as to fake his own death to stoke interest in his token. These meme coin pump schemes aren't always so elaborate though. There is a dev who pretended to have no arms, promising no hands, no rug, until finally he revealed that he did, in fact, have hands, fulfilling the prophecy of rugging everyone. Maybe the most infamous was a young user known as QuantKid, who launched his token called Gen Z Quant, live streaming the whole process before he went to school. And while he was on the live stream, he rug pulled all of the investors and walked away with around $30,000. Crypto Twitter, however, tracked him down, doxed him, and someone even kidnapped his dog, Barry. Only for a number of new tokens to pop up about the kidnapped dog. Some have started asking the question, have these streamers just gone too far? On November 25th, PumpFun announced they were disabling the live stream feature. At least for now. The platform said it would bring back live streams when their infrastructure was ready. Clearly, things got too wild. But who's really to blame here? The streamers? The ruggers? the platform, the space as a whole, and do you think PumpFun will bring back live streams anytime soon? Let us know what you think in the comments below.